Hi there, it's Michael Ackerman coming to you from Seattle, Washington, where I am a realtor with Coldwell Banker Bain. Today's video blog is about QR codes. Now you might be thinking, what are QR codes? I have no idea what that means and what does that got to do with real estate? This is what a QR code looks like. I'm going to hold this up. You might have seen this either in advertisements in a magazine. I know Entertainment Weekly now has QR codes that if you read it with your phone, it will show you the preview of an upcoming movie or it will advertise a product. What this does is, and there's a couple different kinds of codes, there's the QR code which looks like this. There's a tag from Microsoft which looks like colored triangles and squares. All of them are just codes that you can download an app to your smartphone that will read those codes and will take you to a variety of websites. So the way that I use this in real estate, getting back around to real estate since that's what this blog is about, I create uh, or have created QR codes for all my listings. So when I take a listing, I create a website for that listing. It's got a slideshow of photos. I have videos, professional video shot of the home. It's got links to walkscore.com, getting pre-approved, uh, contact me for a showing. And I also create a name writer sign that goes below my professional sign in the yard. So it looks like this. This is bryantcharmer.com. I had a listing in Bryant, which is a neighborhood in Seattle. Hopefully you can see all that. And uh, this was the writer that I put below the sign. Instead of using traditional flyer boxes outside on the sign, which a lot of people do, which can be a good thing, because the people that are walking by can take the flyer and see how much the house is, I've now not continued to do flyers. I rely on this name writer and the QR code and the name of the website to give the public the information that they need. Most everybody has a smartphone now. If you have a smartphone, you can download the QR code reader. And instead of just getting a black and white flyer with a little bit of information, the price, maybe three pictures, a little bit of a description, this is how it works. So you take your smartphone, you tap on after you uh, upload or download the QR code reader, which is a free app. The phone, you just get the app within distance, and this is what pops up. If you can see that, it's a full description of the listing website. It's got the picture of the home, the description, color photos. You can click on here to contact me. You can click on here to see the video. It really does give the public a lot more information. If you don't have a smartphone, you can always go to the website when you get home and look that up as well. But what I've told my sellers, and this is for all you sellers out there, you might want to have your agents try this. Create a website, or even if they don't create a website, you can create a QR code and they can actually attach it to the real estate sign out in the yard so that the public can get information that way. It makes the sign and the post in the yard look a lot neater because there's so many times where the flyers might be half out in the winter or in Seattle when they get wet. They can be strewn throughout the yard. They can be hanging out of the flyer box. It just tends to look messy. No flyer box is a really neat, clean way, I think, to add to the emotional appeal of the exterior of your home. And these QR codes, I believe, give your home kind of a hip cachet that you're using the latest technology to market your home, which might make that home more appealing to the general public because a lot of people are pretty um, interested and obsessed with technology. So I think this is a great way to kind of move into the future for the next way of promoting your home neatly and cleanly in real estate. If you have any other questions about QR codes, not that I'm an expert, or about real estate, which I'm kind of more of an expert, feel free to email me at michaelackerman at cbbain.com. And do remember, it's all about the connection and QR codes.